Japan's Atomic Energy Commission says it may cost twice as much to recycle spent nuclear fuel as it would to discard it as waste. The projections are likely to influence Japan's nuclear policy, which has promoted nuclear fuel recycling for power generation. The commission on Tuesday calculated the cost of recycling spent fuel and extracting plutonium. The cost was estimated at 1.98 to 2.14 yen per kilowatt hour of electricity generated. In contrast, the cost of discarding uh, spent fuel was between 1 and 1.35 yen per kilowatt hour. That's about half the cost of recycling. Japan had promoted spent fuel recycling as a pillar of the country's nuclear energy policy, but the government has come under pressure to review its stance in the wake of the Fukushima nuclear accident. Japan's nuclear fuel recycling efforts have already been called into question by a series of problems at a processing plant in Rokasho village in northern Japan. Japanese cities, towns and villages hosting nuclear power plants are divided over whether to restart reactors that are currently offline. The division came clear as a meeting of uh, the host municipalities. Uh, mayors and officials from 15 communities attended Tuesday's meeting. The main topic was whether idle reactors should resume operating. 44 of Japan's 54 reactors are now offline for regular checks or other reasons. Following the Fukushima nuclear accident, utilities are required to conduct safety stress tests on suspended reactors before they can be restarted. But data errors were found in the safety tests, and there are no prospects that the reactors can be restarted soon. Some municipalities are calling for a restart, but others remain cautious. I'd like to call on the utilities and the central government to go ahead with the resumption after safety is confirmed. As long as the cause of the Fukushima accident has not been confirmed, there's no way the reactors can be resumed. We don't trust the government's nuclear policies and regulatory system. We can't feel safe unless the mistrust is resolved. The participants failed to reach a conclusion on the issue. The chairman of the Association of Host Municipalities, Kazuharu Kawase, said they will hold discussions again after the central government clarifies its policy on the future of nuclear power. The city of Yokosuka near Tokyo held an annual evacuation drill on Wednesday rehearsing a response to a nuclear accident. A U.S. naval base in the city is hosting a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Firefighters told residents to stay indoors while city officials practice checking people for radioactive contamination. The population of Ibaraki Prefecture north of Tokyo has fallen sharply since March. The prefecture is located close to the disaster hit Tohoku region. Ibaraki borders Fukushima Prefecture to the south and it sustained considerable damage in the quake and tsunami. The prefecture says its population of about 3 million fell by nearly 10,000 between March and August. The declines were concentrated in the first two months after the disaster. It says the number of foreign residents fell by over 2,900, accounting for nearly 30 percent of the total decrease. The U.S. Energy Department announced on Tuesday that it has completed the dismantling of its last B-53 bomb at a nuclear arms compound in Texas. The B-53 was the largest of the Cold War era hydrogen bombs. The department says this marks a critical step toward achieving Obama's vision of a world without nuclear weapons.